Hi friends. I hope everyone's doing super dandy today. Because, because, because we have an exciting video today. That was a different intro. For today's video, we are going to be playing with this thing right here. And it's a knitting machine. It's a knitting loom. And ever since I saw this machine existed, I've been wanting to try it. And it finally arrived yesterday. And we're gonna be testing her out. And we're gonna see if we can actually make some nice clothes with her. Because she low key looks like a children's toy. But I have some high hopes with her. I, f I just have a good feeling about her that she's gonna be able to help us make some clothes pretty fast. So today we're gonna start off with trying to make a tank top on her. I know, very exciting. And we're gonna be using this yarn right here. It's a nice linen yarn. I actually thrifted about six months ago and just been saving it for summer. And it's not summer yet, but I'm getting in the summer mood because the sunshine is just coming in every day and it looks like summer, but it's not. So she has a tube setting and a panel setting on the side here. So we want panel. I'm going to take my yarn here. I did watch a few tutorials. So apparently to cast on, you just have to like weave it in and out, in and out, in and out, in and in. Yeah, you get the point. So I have her kind of casted on. Can't really see anything. But now that it's casted on, I pretty much just go back and forth. Like, you know, until apparently she's done. And so I just cranked that wheel. Is it a wheel or is it a hand handle? I just cranked the handle for a while. And this machine actually had me a little speechless. It was just like very, very calming, almost like one of those apps where you watch like something rake the sand and it just looks so peaceful and calming. I felt the exact same way watching these pins come up and grab the yarn at the perfect moment, bring it down, loop it around and, you know, knit. It's it's pretty much like one of those calming apps, this machine. So I've been doing this for a couple minutes now and look how much it's done. It's honestly crazy fast, but the one thing is you really have to pay attention to the ends because I've been just getting excited and then going like a little bit faster and then um, by accident dropping a stitch at the very, very end here. And then, you know, I can go back and fix it. It's not that big of a deal, but you definitely have to be a little careful. You got to hold your tension. So it's not like super, super automatic. You still kind of got to focus when you're doing this, but honestly, this is really cool. It's just like so satisfying to watch this and see it knit and just go. Like it's so intriguing. The only thing that kind of sucks is when you're doing this panel, it doesn't count rows. It does have like a row counter here on the side, but it doesn't count rows when you're doing panels because it'll go up to one and then go back to zero once you go backwards. It just, you know. So I've been working on this for about 15 minutes. You can see it's already coming out of the bottom. It's, it's going, it's going. And I have no idea how long I wanna make this top just because when you do pull it at the end, it changes the shape a little bit because in this machine, it's like all stretched out. So I might as well make it a little bit longer. You know, I can always take stitches off, but once I take it off here, you know, I'm kinda done, so. Just a little bit longer, just because I'm having fun with this one. I really, I really like this. So I'm going to measure this now. See how long it is approximately. Okay. It's about 14 inches. So I am going to take it off now and got my knitting needles here. We're going to try to transfer it onto here. I'm going to try to pick them up. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh uh, no, I dropped a stitch. Oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
If I'm getting warm, this is getting really intense. I'm starting to sweat, I'm getting so nervous. There we go, I got it all on my knitting needles here. So this is what the panel looks like. A bit sheer looking, which is because I used, you know, smaller yarn. But I think it's cute. Like this could be a nice layered top where I even lay it over like a t-shirt. Like this, right? Everyone, this is Manny. If you guys haven't met Manny, I'd like to introduce you guys. This is Manny. This is everyone. Manny is here to help us today because I need to figure out what I'm doing with this top. It's great that I have a panel, but I can't really do anything with just this. So let's play around a little bit. There. There. Ooh, I like that. That looks really good. So I'm wondering, actually, I'm wondering if I could just cast off here in the middle and then do a couple stitches, like even using a smaller needle and, you know, just using a smaller needle will just make it thinner, the straps here, and then it will kind of curve and then that will kind of make a tank form like this, where it's kind of like a shoulderless top, or I guess that's just a tank top, but you guys know what I mean? Like a high neck, this, yeah, I think that's the plan, that's the plan, okay. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go for like a really small needle, like a three and a half. See, tiny. Benson got out of bed before me this morning. That's a first. And Benson's my dog, if you don't know who that is. Yeah. So for casting off the center neck, I made sure I did it really loose, which was a little difficult. It kept sliding off my needles and falling off, which, you know, not the point. I did it really loose. But then for the straps, I made sure that it was tight and actually the size of my needles, my itty bitty needles. So the stitches came out really tiny like this, which I thought was really cute. Okay, I'm done one strap. It's about like two inches long just because I want it to be a high neck. Like I want it to be almost touching my neck here, but I don't want it too tight, you know, that it's like choking, just gently touching like this. So that one's done. So I'm just gonna quickly do this strap and then the front of the top is done. Finny, say almost finny. Also, while I'm doing this, I just wanted to give you guys a little Harry Potter update because I am on the fourth book now and I've watched two movies and I just finished the third book like a day or so ago so I need to watch the third movie every time I finish a book me and my husband watch the movie so that's it that's my update I'm not gonna spoil anything because I know there's other people that there might be you know reading the Harry Potter books or watching the movies or just never watched them or read them like I like me so I'm not gonna root for anyone Friends, friends, friends. This is how she's looking so far. And honestly, I am so excited. I am so excited for this top. I love the green. It's just like beautiful the colors. It's got a few different colored greens in there. Probably hand dyed yarn. The texture, oh my goodness. I love it. The shape, I love it. Color, I love it. I just love everything and I'm just so excited to finish it. That was in my thoughts. So that first piece hardly made a dent in my yarn. Like it looks like I haven't even used any. So could have probably made a dress with it. But right now I need to finish the back. So here we go. So I really have no idea how many rows I'm doing just cause the stitch counter doesn't work. And I'm just way too lazy to actually count those just too much work so we're just gonna guesstimate if it's a little bit longer that's great but if it's a little shorter not not so great I do not want the back shorter it can be a little bit longer but not shorter so we'll overestimate okay I am done the back panel now. I ended up making it just a little bit longer, one inch longer. Now I need to cast off. 
Bam bam turkey chicken. So now I just need to divide it up again. 15, 15, 15. And I'm just gonna do the same thing as last time where I'm going to knit, cast off the neck part and then knit and then, you know, work on the straps, finish the straps. They'll be a little bit shorter because they're on the back, but you guys get the drill. We're doing the same thing as the front pretty much. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. I'm like practically done the top already. Wow, that was quick. That probably took me about like two hours to do, but I'm not done yet. I gotta sew it all together, but first I really need to eat. I'm hungry. I'm just gonna have some soup, so I'll be quick. I was just gonna show you my soup today, but I, I just got my whole jacket in it. I gotta go wash this. So I almost got the stain out, but it's still a little yellow. So if anybody has any tips on how to get butternut squash soup out of their white clothes, comment down below. So that is why I changed into this old t-shirt now because I do not trust myself with the soup. It's so good though. It tastes like Thanksgiving. So I have my two pieces here of my top. So first up I'm gonna do is I'm just going to knit together the two straps here and then I'll figure out the side. So next, I am done putting the straps together. They look like this. I already went ahead and I just pinned where I wanted the armhole to end. So where I wanted my seam to start on the side here. So now I gotta get my yarn needle and now I just gotta start sewing these two seams together on both sides. My least favorite part of um, knitting is just this part, yeah. So I started off with sewing the side seams and I just recently, which you knitters out there are gonna be shocked, but I recently learned how to do invisible seam and this is what I'm doing right now and it has changed my life in my knitting world. It has just changed my life. It is incredible. It is actually invisible. It looks amazing. It's not hard. Yeah, look it up if you, you, you're a knitter, look up visible seam, it's amazing. And then after that, I tucked in all the ends, which now thinking about it, I think tucking in the ends, the loose ends, is the number one worst part of knitting, and then sewing the side seams is number two. That's my final answer. So I'm done weaving the ends, I'm done connecting the sides. So here she is. <laughs> She's pretty good, right? I'm actually so impressed with myself that I made this on a plastic loom knitting machine. I don't know. It just, it just, just the plasticness of it, it just makes it seem like a kid's toy and I just still can't get over the box it came in. I really wish I kept it because it literally looked like Lego should be in it. I'm not joking. The only thing I noticed right off the bat when I was weaving in the sides together or so in the sides is um is way longer in the back <laughs> and i thought they were gonna be like the same size i thought i measured 15 inches for the front and 16 for the back and clearly i didn't because there's like a good six inches difference so i i don't know what happened but at least i like it like this but this is going to be the perfect top for summer, which I'm so excited about because this weekend I'm going to San Diego. Hence the reason why I made this top because I wanted some summer clothes to wear where it was warm because it was like negative five Celsius here and there's snow on the ground. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed making this top with me today. If you did, let me know down in the comments what your favorite color was, or is, technically is, present tense, or you can tell me what your favorite color was when you were a kid too, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!